Now that we've seen how we can access different parts of a data frame, let's try doing some simple calculations. One of the kind of calculations we might want to do would be to create a new column based on calculations on existing columns. For example, in the data set that we've been looking at, there are columns that tell the number of male and female students, but there's no column that tells the total number of students. We could calculate this by adding together the male and female values. This is how we would write the code, and even though we're writing it as a single expression, because pandas carries out this operation in a vectorized way, the male value in each row will be added to the female value in each row, and will create a corresponding item in a new column for that row. This is repeated for every row in the table so that we have a corresponding total value for each of the male and female values in the other rows. Let's go ahead and try this. First we'll recreate the data frame by reloading the data. And now let's do the calculation. We can see here that there is a new column and it was placed at the end of the data frame and it contains the total. In this case, we added the total column into the same data frame. If we wanted to, however, we could replace a column with the result of a calculation. So in this example here, if we wanted to turn the number of limited English proficiency students into percentage, we could divide that by the new total column, multiply by 100 to put it as percent, and then replace the original limited English proficiency column with the new one that we've calculated. Now the limited English proficiency column is based on percent instead of on absolute number of students as it was originally.